We're going to begin this morning in France where investigators are going through cockpit voice recorder from the airliner that crashed Tuesday. The impact shattered the plane and set wreckage, sent wreckage over a huge area of the French Alps. All 150 people aboard are believed dead. Officials say they cannot rule out anything, but it's very unlikely that terrorists brought down this jet. It was flying from Barcelona, Spain to Dusseldorf, Germany. Mark Phillips is near the crash site in the French town of saint Lazare. Mark, good morning. Well, good morning. If there can be good news in a situation like this, helicopters flying overhead. The predicted weather, snow and rain that was supposed to happen today has held off in the Emergency crews, as you can hear and see, uh, are flying to and from the crash site. Also, the cockpit voice recorder has been recovered, but there's plenty of bad news, too. Retrieval of the victims is the first priority, and that won't be easy. The plane came down in the most inhospitable, inaccessible terrain imaginable, wreckage strewn in small pieces down a steep mountainside. And as for the victims... Bien sûr, les corps. Of course there are bodies, says Frédéric Petitjean, chief doctor of the local fire department. But identifying them will be hard. You see the state of the plane, he said, so I'll let you imagine the state of the bodies. Because of the force of the impact and the 60-degree slope the plane slammed into, the wreckage has settled over a 10-acre area, and that's unstable alpine shale. It will take days to retrieve what's left of the victims. And on top of the grief, there's the mystery of why this happened. The plane's cockpit voice recorder has been retrieved, but it's damaged. Investigators are trying to access its contents for clues as to why this crash happened. The plane, which had climbed to its 38,000 feet cruising altitude after it left Barcelona, only stayed there for one minute before beginning a steep eight-minute descent. No distress call, no hint as to why. Air traffic control lost contact at 6,000 feet. It's not known whether the crew or the passengers were conscious during that time. A makeshift morgue has been set up in this town, the staging area for the emergency operation. It's about eight or, eight or so miles from the actual crash site. Uh, the prospect now is of getting the mangled remains of the victims here. Relatives of those victims are also expected. The identification uh, of the victims, of course, will be a very gruesome job indeed. And right now, the only way in and out is by air. It'll take days to clear the site. Vlad. Mark Phillips in France. Thanks.